Hello and thank you for choosing InHand. This video will introduce you to installing the InHand Smart Retrofit Solution into your vending machine. Today I'm going to install this InHand Smart Retrofit pad in pad into this Bedmax 5800 vending machine. Now let's take a look at the tools and the components of the InHand Retrofit Solution. So if I look here I can see that I've prepared a drill for drilling any screw holes as necessary, a small pair of pliers, a screwdriver, wire cutters, and a machine to machine sim from AT&T. AT&T were kind enough to provide this test sim to me and I really appreciate that their help. Um, so if I look here I also have an in-pad smart venting computer, a 3G cellular module, in the MDB interface board for connecting to the vending machine component. Alright, now let's take a look at wiring the InPad Smart Venting Retrofit Solution. So if I connect my Android Smart Venting computer with the 36 pin connector to the main input port of the InPad 3G cellular module. You can see that clearly, it's a, probably the first thing you'll notice when you open up the box. Now I can take my MDB wiring harness and we have MDB and serial in here. This is going to connect the VMC to my MDB converter as well as provide serial communication between the converter and my 3G cellular module. So now let's get that plugged in. We'll plug the MDB port into the 2 VMC port. This is going to provide power for my system. I'm going to Plug in the serial communications port on the right hand side. And then I'm going to take this serial, this MDB connector, and I'm going to connect it to the MDB connector of my VMC. This is going to provide power and communications. Remember that all my systems are powered off right now. You want to make sure everything's powered off before you get started. Now we're going to connect between the MDB converter and the 3G cellular module. And see here I've connected my 3 pin power plug. And then I'm going to connect the small 3 pin serial connector on the top right. So now we've seen how our InPad Smart Venting Retrofit Solution is wired up and we're going to test the cellular connectivity. So now I'm going to insert my cellular m to m SIM card. We can just flip open the SIM card holder, flip it back down, and make sure it's locked into place. You don't want to power that on while it's jostling around because that can cause damage to the SIM card. Next I'm going to connect the antenna. Make sure it's firmly fastened down. And we're also going to want to make sure our antenna connector is firmly attached to the base so that we have good cellular signal as well. Now that we have everything powered on, let's power on the venting machine. I'm just going to plug it in down here off camera. We should see everything power on. You notice the MDB converter starts blinking. The 3G cellular module should start blinking as well with these stat and warning lights. And my in-pad is starting to power on. You'll see a nice little in-pad, in-hand logo on the in-pad. And soon we'll be booted into the Android operating system and the smart venting system as well. So now I'd like you to press the mode button. If you press that, the Android information should come up. And I'm going to show that in the, another example that we'll cut here to shortly. So now let's take a look at checking the cell signal on my in-pad. I just need to look at the 3G cellular module and press the mode button and that will bring up the diagnostic information for my InPad smart venting computer. I can see information such as the CPU usage, memory storage, and the network type which is UMTS 3G. The signal strength is at 27 ASU out of 32 so that's a great signal and it's a good way to get started. If you have a signal level below 12, that should be below the, net, the minimum necessary and you'll need to figure out a way to improve it either with your antenna connection 
or maybe even talk to your cellular provider about improving your cell signal. So now that we've got our cell signal checked, let's move on to installing the NPED. Hello and welcome back. Now that we've checked the cellular information and learned about wiring together our NPED retrofit solution, let's take a look at some of the components inside the vending machine. You'll see here I have a payment card acceptor and bill validator, a keypad and coin changer, as well as a telemeter for transmitting the payment information from the payment card to the payment processor, and a VMC. The VMC is considered the brain of the traditional vending machine. It's able to process the payment and then vend the products with the robotics inside the machine. The telemeter provides the internet connection for the, the payment card acceptor so that it can validate the payments, authenticate them, and then it transmits, this, transmits the payment information to the VMC with MDB protocol. Now that we've seen the components inside a traditional vending machine, let's get started with installing our retrofit kit, starting with the 3G cellular module. And now let's take a closer look at installing the 3G cellular module. I'm going to mount it with my 3M Loctite tape, and I'm going to plug in all the wires for the various components. So the first wire we're going to plug in is our in-pad 36-pin connector. We're going to plug it in just like that, and we're going to attach the cellular antenna. You can see I routed the antenna cable up through a small hole in the top of my vending machine. This was already pre-installed on my BevMax 4. Going to attach the cell antenna, make sure it's you know firm. And then we're going to connect our power and serial from the MDB interface. I've already previously mounted that, but I'm sure you can understand. There's a three-pin power connector and a three-pin serial connector. We're just going to connect those and then mount the device right on the 3M Loctite. It's much easier to connect all those wires when you've got everything outside the vending machine. So that's something to consider. Now let's move on to working on the MDB interface board. Alright, so now we're ready to install the MDB interface board. We can see I'm just going to leave my wiring harness and the keypad connection cables already connected. This is going to make it easier to install. The way the MDB interface board works is that it sits in between the telemeter and payment devices and the VMC. This allows the end pad to record all the payment information that occurs on the vending machine for our smart vending solution. So the way we're going to connect this is we're going to unplug the telemeter from our VMC. If you don't have a telemeter, you can also substitute a credit card payment device. I'm going to plug the MDB lead that says to VMC in back into the VMC. Then I'm going to connect the telemeter in the two payment slot. You can see here this is how it should roughly work. If you don't have a telemeter, you can of course replace it with you know a credit card payment device. Now that I have everything connected, I'm going to con mount the uh, MDB and interface board back on the Loctite connectors. See, it's a very solid connection there with those Loctites. And now I'm going to mount <coughs> connect the keypad into the NPAD. To do that, we're going to disconnect the keypad from the vending machine. Connect the female connector directly into the keypad. This is going to allow the in pad to read the keypad inputs. So that way when a customer presses A1 on the vending machine, the in pad will know which product was selected. Now, so that the VMC can also read the 
keypad inputs, we're going to connect the VMC back into the mail connector. We consider this kind of a, a bump in the wire approach. And that completes our wiring solution for the in-pad retrofit solution. Um, if Once you've got all this connected up, you will want to use some wire ties to keep everything tidy. You don't want anything to get damaged when you, you uh, close the door here. So you want to make sure you use some wire ties in there. Also, the VMC is very sensitive. You'll see it here that I have it uncovered. And you want to be really careful not to do that. If you leave it uncovered, you can cause damage to the electronics. Uh, and this concludes the installation for the in-pad retrofit solution. Um, we'll move on to testing and working with the smart vending cloud here in a moment. And now we're ready to test. Let's go ahead and plug the machine in. And I hope you've had the machine unplugged for this entire process. We can see the machine powering up as normal. The keypad should register. Um, if it's not registered, please check your wires. And we can see the in-pad starting to boot up as well with the in-hand logo. Now one way we can test this is we can just purchase a soda and you should be able to purchase a soda either with the keypad or with the electronic keypad in the in-pad. And so I'm going to go ahead and test that now. I'm just going to put in a quarter. I'm going to select B7. Now I should receive a nice cold coke here. Excellent. Good to see a plan come together. Now let's order another beverage from the in-pad. We're going to select B5. Enter our money again. Then you can press the go button and the beverage should dispense. So everything's working well. Um, we're glad to see it. all our wiring was correct. And that concludes this video and thank you for watching and thank you for choosing InHand Networks.